Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Alex Thomas here back with another video for you guys. Today I am doing the same thing I did um, in the beginning of April. I'm going to talk about all the releases that come that's coming in the month of May for 2022. You guys liked what I did with the with the video I did last month talking about the releases, all the releases that I'm looking forward to. So I hope you guys are ready for this. If you guys enjoy videos like this, please hit that like button, please subscribe for more. If you guys enjoy Blu-ray content, reviews, live streams, watch along, trailer reactions, all that right content, you're in the right place. Like I said, please hit that like button, please subscribe for more. And let's get into all the releases that come out in the month of May. Let's get it, let's go. All right, you guys. Like I said, we're gonna talk about all these releases, and um, yeah, um, starting off with the first week, um, we got Turning Red is the one is the big release that's coming out uh, from Disney, and it's, I don't know if this Pixar, but it's Disney. I think it's Disney and Pixar, um, but yeah, it's getting a 4K release. Is that's one of the biggest titles that's coming out next uh, this week? Then we have Smoking Aces getting a 4K release. They're also getting a steelbook, I think, from Best Buy as well. I don't know if Target is getting a slipcover or not. But, um, yeah. Then we also got a DC animated movie. We got Constantine coming out. We got Without Remorse with Michael B. Jordan is also coming out. Um, it looks like Turning Red is going to get a red case as well, which I did not notice that it's getting one. And guess it, uh, it is getting a Target exclusive for Turning Red as well. We got um, the outfit is coming out as well, uh, which I heard uh, decent things about that, um, you know, about that film. So that ends for the first week of May. And then the second week of May, the, the uh, week of May 10th, we got a lot of uh, good titles coming out this week. We got first, we got the Jurassic Park movies are getting separate releases with the original like uh, posters. I guess these are uh, movie, uh, they are, these are these releases are coming out with the slipcovers. And um, I'm not even gonna lie, I might be hesitant on getting that first movie because it has that classic Jurassic Park logo on the slipcover. Um, hopefully they come with subcovers. Then we also got the Alfred Hitchcock collection also coming out as well. And that's a pretty interesting release. Um, because it's, you know, they're giving us titles. I've never heard of any of these titles. It comes with um, Shadow of a Doubt, um, Marnie, Sa uh, Saboteur, and The Trouble with Harry. I've never heard of any of these movies before. But obviously, there's four Alfred Hitchcock movies that are coming out. We also got Uncharted coming out. Obviously, obviously, is getting a steelbook, which is a little too pricey for me. But I think it's coming with a ring or something. It's like sixty bucks for the steelbook, which I hope is not the real title because I don't think it needs to be that much. Um, but yeah, that's one of the titles coming out. We got um, Cursed from Screen Factory come out. We got The Curse coming out as well. Um, so yeah, I mean, and then we also got the Friday 13th Part 3 Steelbook, which is probably the release I will be getting that week. Um, it's either that or, like I said, I'm probably going to be getting Jurassic Park that week. So yeah, um, pretty interesting stuff that next second week. Um, and then the next following week, the week of the 17th, we got some more Screen Factory coming out. We got Escape from New York is getting a 4K release. We got Beverly Hills Cop 2 is getting a release on 4K. We got Licorice Pizza is coming out. Um, we got The Craft also from Screen Factory on 4K. We got a, vin a Vinegar Syndrome title coming out for called Extreme Prejudice is also coming out. And then we got a Lionsgate Steelbook for Hell in High Water, which I'm really hesitant on getting because I got the slipcover. And it's another instance where I'm not going to get rid of the slipcover if I do buy the steelbook, which messed up because I don't really get rid of 4Ks because um, I really don't need two f movies of, I don't, really, I don't need two copies of Hell and High Water. But the steelbook does look fire. Like so I'm going to put a poster, uh, you know, show the image of what the steelbook looks like. And it's obviously it's a Lionsgate steelbook, so it's going to have a slipcover. We're also getting a 4K for Infinite with Mark Wahlberg, which I did not know was actually getting a release which is surprising and i don't know what's up with paramount but we're getting another release for top gun i know the new movie is coming out but goodness gracious y'all releasing another top gun release come on paramount y'all tripping so yeah i think that's it for that first week and then we're also getting some like some random three pack four packs movie with some new slip covers um I, with some quotes at the bottom we got a four film batman collection the batman trilogy we got a two film hulk collection coming out which is weird but yeah um, that ends for that week, and then the, that next following week on the 24th, we got some heat coming, you guys. We got the Batman is getting a slipcover, a, a steelbook for Best Buy, a regular Blu-ray, Target exclusive slipcover. Um, like I said, I don't think a Walmart is also doing a special gift set 
which I will show an image on the screen to show you guys what that looks like. We're also getting Candyman on 4K. They're releasing Life Force. I don't know what that is, but it's a Screen Factory release. Also, uh, Wild Things is getting a 4K for release from Arrow, which I understand. Wild Things is like, eh, did that really need a 4K release from Arrow? I wish they would have picked something else. Um, but um, yeah, then we got um, X from A24 coming out. We got Malignant is coming out on 4K, which is dope. We got uh, some Tom Clancy films coming out. We got Patriot Games and some of our fears is also getting 4K releases. Um, and yeah, so uh, the 24th looking like it's a fire um, week for releases. And then we got the last week of um, of May with some random titles. We got some Kino coming out, if I'm not mistaken, some 4K releases. Um, and then just... it's. We also got The Boy Seasons 1 and 2 is coming out on Blu-ray, which I probably will definitely be getting. And we also got Happy Death Day to You. Happy Death Day and Happy Death Day to You are getting Screen Fact releases, which is weird. Um, and it's also coming like a double pack with some extra goodies in there too, which I don't understand why they're releasing that. It's kind of weird that they're getting that title, those titles. But that's really it that is like really good that caught my eye for the month of may clearly the biggest release that's coming out in this month is the batman i already pre-ordered my steelbook it's already in the bag uh, like i said if I, the other releases i probably will be getting i probably just be getting the um the just probably the target exclusive slipcover probably and probably just a regular 4k i probably will be double triple dipping on the batman i love that movie so much um and like i said i probably be getting the boys season one and two because i love that show went on it physically um uh, i'll probably be getting jurassic park i'm really debating on getting malignant and Candyman. i have Candyman on blu-ray and i have a problem with that Candyman is not gonna reverse up our work because i don't think they've reversed any of the artwork for the, uh for their four k's besides the halloweens if i'm not mistaken um because there's they've been using the original artwork for the screen factory so um so yeah and maybe i might get cursed but maybe i'll just wait for that price to go down because i think it's gonna be a little expensive and um clearly i be might i might be getting hell high water steel book so um this month it's gonna be some um stuff coming out like i said, hope you guys are ready for it if, let me know in the comment section below what are your uh up favorite upcoming releases that are coming out in the month of may i really love to hear your comments in the comment section below like i said i tell you guys what i'm looking forward to you guys will be seeing the hunts coming within the next future so hope you guys are ready for that as well um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Please subscribe for more. More videos like this will be coming in the near future. I hope you guys are ready for that as well. And I'm honest with you guys. Peace out.